Hi guys, it's Henry Savile, and today I'm showing you a pair of gloves from a brand that I haven't used before. So it should be really interesting for all of us. These are the Rena Ego Tico Quantum Turf Gloves. These gloves are made for artificial turf like 3G, 4G, and they say they are 10 times more durable than normal gloves. Renac gloves are distributed in the UK by Cube Goalkeeping. I'll put all the details below. First, let me tell you a little bit about Renac. They were founded in 1986 in Mexico. They are the only glove brand in the world that manufacture their own gloves. They launched in Europe 11 years ago and they are one of the most popular brands in South America. They sponsor a lot of keepers from top leagues. Here are some on their brochure. Now let's open them up and see what they're like. Um, for a start, the bag is very different. Um, it opens with Velcro from the side rather than at the top like most. Oh, I love the white and orange on these gloves. I think that looks super cool. They come in a plastic bag. There is no protective film on them. They just come with a layer of tissue paper between the thumb and the palm. The palm is like orange with black dots, which I think is a really nice design. And it has the one on the middle as well. I'm really interested to see what the latex is like, considering they're specially made for artificial turf. But first of all, let's talk about the pricing. Sizes 4 to 6 come in at £33 and sizes 7 to 11 are £35. The backhand of the Ego Tico Quantum Turf Glove is a synthetic latex. It's embossed on the punch zone to give you more thickness. All of the gloves have a iridescent one on the back, so basically rainbow coloured and it moves in the light, the different colours. On the lower part of the backhand, you've got a mesh. You can actually see your fingers through the mesh, so it's definitely nice and breathable and it lets all the heat out. The strap has one Velcro fastening. It also has a elasticated mid split um, to allow for different sizes of wrist. There is lots of different cuts within this glove. Let me show you. First of all, the thumb is a flat cut. The outer two fingers are more of a roll cut. And the inner two fingers are a negative cut. However, the tops of them fingers are more curved over. On the backhand, they are more rounded. It also gets your hand into more of the catching position as well. It makes them curved. And it will protect the latex better than, say, a standard negative cut. The latex on these gloves definitely feels firmer than on a glove, say, that you'd use on grass. I also like the printed black spots with the one in the middle. The gussets in between the fingers are very prominent. They definitely do stick out a lot, um, which actually protects this latex even more. Um, it's got like a firm material on like the mesh that was on the backhand. It's that with like a plasticky silicon material on top. But maybe what will happen is that will stop the main latex from touching the ball as much, but we will find out. It has double stitching, attaching the elasticated wristband onto the main body.
as you saw there, the wristband is quite small, but it is very stretchy, so it was a little bit hard to get on, but now it's on, it definitely feels quite tight around my wrist. These gloves definitely feel quite synthetic and not as flexible as some lighter gloves that I've tried recently, but in the end of the day, they are to be worn on um, like turf and rough ground. They may need a pre-wash to soften the latex off a bit, um, but we'll find out. In the end of the day, if these do last 10 times longer than a more softer glove, then you have saved a lot of money. The real test is once I've worn them for my team training this week, and I'll come back to you after that with the report. As I said, I'm going to be testing these gloves out tonight um, it's my team training, it's on 3G, so let's see how the durability and the grip is. I've used these a couple of times now on 3G. Um, as you can see, there's actually a few black bits on there still. Um, I'm now going to clean them um, and let's see how they turn out. I've used the Ego Tico Quantum Turf Gloves a few times now for my training on 3G. Um, here is what I thought of them. Firstly, how did they clean up? Well, as you'll notice, the areas that were very white before have gone a bit orangey. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's mainly because when I pre-washed them, the orange from maybe like the latex um, and also the backhand may it washed off and then it sort of coloured the white. Obviously this doesn't affect the performance but it does with how, how they look. As you'll notice the palm is a bit blackened still after I washed them. Um, but there really is no wear and tear anywhere that, uh, that is really visible and that I can see. So, for 3G, these are definitely better than your usual glove. As I said before, I definitely think the, the fingers where they go over definitely protects this latex more. Whereas if you had like a standard negative cut like the fingers are, the, the ends would really be wearing. As you can see from the few clips from my training session, I wasn't catching a lot of stuff. I was mostly parrying. Um, and that's just because the grip wasn't too great. Um, but I think that's more because... The latex is definitely going to be harder wearing because you want them to last longer. Um, that Basically, if you have a good grip glove, then it won't be that durable. If you have a not so good grip glove, it will be more durable. Um, but that's the decision you've got to make. If you train a lot on 3G or 4G, then these gloves are definitely worth considering because they will last you longer. Renat offer loads and loads of different gloves, so if you do want a, a better grip glove, definitely still have a look at what they offer because there is some good ones in there. If these gloves do last you 10 times longer for £33, then essentially you're paying £3.30 for a pair of gloves um, that you may normally buy. Thank you to Cube Goalkeeping for sending me these awesome Renat gloves to show you guys. There will be a link below to them. So that's the end of the video guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Bye! Bye guys!